está bien, bájalo. Alright, what's up guys? So, a little update on what's happening with the, the G. Um, last week or the week before that, I was having my car at Central Valley Performance getting the return line and the, uh, the new uh, fuel rails put on. They got all through that and then I asked them to put on the, a new valve cover gasket for the passenger side because that's what we were assuming kept leaking. We thought the, the gasket was pinched or it just was a faulty gasket. But then I put on a new valve cover. That didn't solve the issues. The oil kept spewing through the uh, spark plug grommets. So we just thought maybe it was just a faulty valve cover because I got it aftermarket. It wasn't OEM, it was, a, it was a dormant part. So that didn't work. So we're just thinking, well, it could just be the gasket. Well, my tuner at Central Valley Performance Jaime thought it was also the uh, oil filter cooler uh, gasket um, so we got that replaced too but it still had a drip on it but it kept going having oil shoot through the valve or the uh, spark plug grommets so we were just thinking maybe there's just excessive blow by and I need to get a, a catch can but after doing some research we did a um, compression test on the motor uh, looks like cylinders four, five, and six are about 120, and one, two, and three are at 160 to 165. So, with that given said, the motor is shot. So now we are going down south to Southgate to pick up a, a JDM motor that got imported. So it's got around maybe 45 to 60 thousand miles, and we're gonna get that one put in. Hopefully, either this weekend or uh, next week. But on this motor, it'll be tuned on uh, 85 right out the gate because I don't want I don't want to put in the flex fuel sensor. Um, I really don't have time right now to to keep going back and forth to tune on 91, then tune on 85. So we'll just tune it straight out the gate on 85. Um, and also, I have a package coming in today. Uh, a little surprise from uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. So I mean, those will be a nice little addition to the new motor. But uh, let's let's go pick this up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, yikes! Heading back home. Just picked up the motor. It's all wrapped up back there. I'll do a a leak down test uh, once I get back see where it's at see if there's anything we need to do to it hopefully not because that would mean I'd have to drive all the way back and get it exchanged because apparently they don't do a leak down test or compression test in shop they do it before it leaves their uh, major warehouse so drop that off and then hopefully try to get it installed on uh, maybe tomorrow or the weekend I still have those uh, that package I need to pick, pick up at home to put that extra thing on it, but we're about home, so. Alright, so that package came in. Let's see what we got. Let me just set this right here. So we got some uh, new injectors. For these ones, we did. I did the uh, the 1700 cc. So those are the fuel injector connectors brand. I mean, I've heard good reviews about them. So we'll be running 85 on these ones. Um, I mean, they already come with the, the pigtail. So I mean, that's clutch. Just have to get those spliced in and. Uh, 
That's about it. It's pretty clutch that these came with the uh, with the pigtails already, though. It's like an extra like fifty to eighty dollars if you didn't. But uh, yeah, we'll get these uh, probably installed maybe in a, in a week. I still got still got to get the motor in, and then uh, have my guys um, splice these in. But yeah, that's what they look like.